Hello everyone, my name is Shara Anak Gilbert and my metric number is AN1801197. Today's presentation is for my final year project proposal, namely Porosity Analytical Tool based on scanning electron microscope images of concrete. My project is under the supervision of Professor Madia Dr. Andre Kusbiantoro. Today's presentation will cover Chapter 1 Introduction, Chapter 2 Literature Review, and Chapter 3 Methodology. As for project background, firstly, I want to describe a bit about concrete. Concrete are known as a porous material. The concrete porosity amount depends on the type of concrete. Because of the material used such as aggregate, it is impossible to make utterly porous concrete since aggregate has its own porosity. However, we can easily to recognize porous and matrices of various grades of material with high resolution SEM images which make it effective instrument in micro pore structure analysis. Next, ASTM has provided three concrete saturation methods in different standards used as a basis for other material, where ASTM C642 introduced cold water and boiling water saturation methods to measure the water absorption of concrete. However, these two methods also used to determine the density and porosity of concrete. In addition, ASTM C1202 provides a vacuum saturation method to determine the permeability and water absorption rate of concrete. This study to be done because currently there are three porosity measurement techniques based on ASTM saturation method, namely cold water saturation, boiling water saturation, and vacuum saturation. However, those methods require excellent and attentive research skill because it will cause significant error in data if not done properly. Therefore, this study has proposed an alternative approach using an imaging technique based on S. SEM images. In this method, we will capture the inner microstructure of the concrete and evaluate the bright and the dark area, the appropriate threshold of the grayscale. The result will compare in terms of porosity value with available ASTM technique. The main objective of this study are to develop an image processing technique that will be compatible with the SEM images of concrete. Meanwhile, the sub-objective of this study are to quantify the porosity of concrete based on the image processing of scanning electron microscope images and to evaluate the accuracy of the image processing technique as compared to the water saturation technique of ASTM. In this project, I will adopt the ASTM saturation technique to measure the porosity of concrete specimen with a variety strength namely 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40 MP megapascal. The testing and analysis will be carried out on the 7 and 28 curing days for primary data collection. As for the secondary data, a pool of SEM images and porosity data will be extracted from other peer review publication with which, co which provided a complete pair of this data. As for the image analysis, the study will use the image processing feature from Adobe Photoshop and also MATLAB software. The study aimed to quantify the porosity of concrete because the porosity of concrete has great influence the strength and other mechanical properties of concrete. Therefore, the porosity value of the concrete will give valuable information on the durability characteristic of concrete. Here is the list of summary for the literature review in this project. Firstly, Safiuddin and Lin Research Group had used STM saturation method to quantify the porosity of concrete where they conclude and recommend vacuum saturation technique to be used to quantify the porosity. Next, Wegmer used SEM to quantify the porosity of concrete. They stated that the suitable method in preparation of SEM specimen are important because rough surface on specimen will cause significant error data. Next, Edwin has used microscope images of SEM with MATLAB and their research is to quantify the porosity of reactive water and conclude that it is a good alternative to investigate the porosity with automated image analysis, namely MATLAB software. Lastly, 
Lastly, in Ralinska study, they are using Adobe Photoshop software and then converted it into a binary image to quantify the pores of concrete sample. To get the primary, primary data for this project, firstly, I will design the mixed proportion of cube concrete and curing it for 7 and 28 days. Before the vacuum saturation is done, the concrete will be tested for their compressive strength first to achieve the scope of concrete design in this project, namely 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. The result from vacuum saturation will be compared with the result from image analysis of SEM to achieve the second subject sub objective of this study. There are two stages of experiment for this project. In stage 1 which is fresh concrete, the slum test is done before the concrete paste is pouring into the cube mold. Next for the second stage, this compressive strength need to be done to achieve the concrete grade used in this study. After the concrete pass the required strength, vacuum saturation and scan scanning electron microscope take place. The SEM images of concrete next are analyzed using Adobe Photoshop software first to determine the gray scale of the threshold and use MATLAB to quantify the porosity of concrete. In this project, I have 5 different concrete strain used which is 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. This concrete is designed using design form of concrete. The expected result of this study is that the proposed technique in this study will quantify a similar to the conventional ASTM water saturation technique. Finally, the use of this alternative technique will provide a more straightforward to analyze the concrete porosity. This is my planning chart to complete this proposal for this semester. I managed to complete writing the report in week 14. Here is what I had planned for my final year project too. I hope that I can complete all the tasks and submit my final year project report within the time given. Thank you.